Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Ed. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to run Nmap, download it from the Nmap website, and do a dummy test to test Exchange servers. And this will be used in future videos as well. Um, I will be also stepping through how to use Nmap on a Kali Linux machine later on. So we looked at a PowerShell script in one of my earlier videos where you could find open ports on a machine. I want to show you now how to do this using Nmap. Now for Windows, it's called Zenmap. So I went to the Nmap uh, URL, nmap.org, and I selected Windows to download the version. And I've downloaded the setup here, 794, and I've started the setup. So this is what the setup looks like. Let me just minimize this window so you can see it. When you started it, it's going to ask you to accept the license terms. You click on Agree. I generally accept the defaults that are here, and I click Next, and then click Install. Now, the installation takes a couple of seconds to run. Uh, please be aware that this machine doesn't have any antivirus on, so you may end up with an issue uh, on a server that's running Sentinel, Sentinel 1 CrowdStrike, ESET, Semantic, where it may block it because it sees it as a scanning tool or as a threat. On the setup here, it pauses and asks you to continue to install NPCAP. I generally leave it as default and click Install. You'll see that the Nmap installer is waiting in the background for NPCAP to finish. And this will take a couple of seconds. And then I click Next and Finish. And then the actual installation is now done. And it's going to ask you where you want to create a shortcut. You can either untick it, I just leave it as a default, and then click Finish. Now, on your machine, on your desktop, we've got a Zen Map GUI. Let's just open this. Right. And this is where we can now perform our scan. So I want to do a dummy scan for you. So I'm going to do um, my 2019 server. And I will just do a quick scan because I don't want to take up too much of the time because some of these scans can take quite a long time to run depending on what you specify. So what I've done is when you specify, apologies, I made a mistake here. Um, when you specify the server name automatically by default, it will specify how fast on you want to perform this. Now, um, generally, when you're doing ethical hacking, you would drop this number down to a T1 or a T0 because you don't want to be noisy on a network because the higher the number, the more noise that you create. And then you have the option to specify other flags here as well. I just chose quick scan from the list because, like I mentioned, due to the time. Now, <clears throat> you can see that it's pretty quick based on the quick scan. And what it does is on this Exchange 2019 server, we've got port 25, 80, 81, all the way to 6001 open on the machine. Right, so the PowerShell script we only tested was from port 23 to 26, and, and we did see that 25 was open. However, Nmap you'll see actually gives you the service that's associated with each of the uh, ports that are open here. So this is just a quick way or another way to identify open ports on a machine, but using Zenmap. Uh, it's Nmap, but just with the graphical user interface. And it gives us nice, nice information. If we go to the next tab here, which is the ports or the hosts, it just pretty much gives you the same information that's specified here. Here, green means it's uh, available or open. Red means it's closed. You can build on the topology if you wanted to. If you had multiple machines that you were scanning, it would give you information. If you click on host details, it will tell you that the host is up. There's the IP address of the name because it's resolved via DNS. 
tells you that 88 ports are closed. It's only scanned 100 because it was a quick scan. We didn't scan 1,000 ports like we generally would. There's your IP address again that it lists here. It didn't list the IPv6, gives you the name, and then obviously gives you the internal host name, which is in Azure. And if there are any comments, it will list here as well. If you go to services on the left hand side, so a host is the actual host. If you click on services and we go to SMTP, again, it will just show you the information about this. The same with SMTPS, which is on port 465. And then anything else that may be interesting, like it's running HTTPS, HTTP is open, and then X11 on this port. So if there was a vulnerability on this machine from an attacker perspective, this would be valuable information because then we could go and see what is available, what can I attack, and is it vulnerable to attack? And then once we have that information, then we can continue our um, attack methodology or attack surface and dig deeper and see what else we could get. But I just wanted to show you, this is how to run Nmap on Windows Server. This is Windows Server 2022. It works on Server 2019 as well. And it lists the open ports with all the information about the server. I hope that you find this helpful. And if you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.